To simplify the following complex number, i to the 21st power. Now, what we know about i is that if you square it, it's just going to give you negative 1, right? That's a property of i. So what we want to do is we write, want to write i to the 21st power in terms of i squared. So now notice that i to the 21st power is the same thing as i to the 20th power times i. And one way we can write i to the 20th power is writing i squared to the 10th power, right? Since remember, for properties of exponents, if you have a power and you're taking that to another power, what you do is you multiply the exponents. So in this case, 2 times 10 is going to be 20, so it's the same thing. And then simplifying further, i squared is equal to negative 1. So we can write that in the parentheses for i squared. So now we have negative 1 to the 10th power times i. And how we evaluate negative 1 to any power is like so. So you have negative 1 to the nth power. That's equal to negative 1 if n is an odd number, right? So n negative 1 taken to the third power is going to be negative 1. And it's going to be positive 1 if n is an even power. For example, negative 1 squared is always positive 1. So since this, since 10 is an even power, negative 1 to the 10th is just going to be positive 1 and then times i. So the final result is just going to be i.